Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Christina and I'm a licensed esthetician and a beauty and fashion blogger. So today I wanted to do a video, kind of like I guess a product review video on sunglasses that I purchased from Abella Eyewear and also from the Sunglass Galleria. I had two totally different experiences with both companies so I wanted to talk about what my experiences were like in case you are thinking of purchasing any sunglasses from them. So first of all, I'm going to show you the sunglasses that I purchased from Abella Eyewear. And this is them. And these are the ones that I purchased from the Sunglass Galleria. So I ordered the ones from Abella Eyewear first. And they shipped really fast. They shipped uh, within less than 24 hours from when I ordered them. And they did ship to me from the, the U.S., so I got them within about six days. They came in very careful packaging. They came in a large box, and then there was another box inside of that one. And they were in, like, a small case when I opened that box, and then in this little case here. So there was a lot of packaging, very careful packaging. Um, I was really concerned that maybe the glasses would be broken during shipping, but they were actually packaged really well. I was really happy. I was happy with the glasses. Um, they were comfortable to wear. I feel like that they were pretty decent quality, kind of middle of the road. I mean, they weren't super expensive or super cheap either. So overall, I had a really good experience with the Bella Eyewear. I would recommend buying sunglasses from them. I'm actually a brand ambassador for them and have a discount code that I will uh, list down below if you're interested in purchasing anything from them. So my experience with the Sunglass Galleria was different. Um, again, these are the glasses that I purchased from them. I like the glasses okay. Um, so it took me two months to get these glasses. Um, when I ordered them initially, it took about six days for them to ship. And I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't really complaining about it. So, um, and I knew that they were coming from China. So I thought, you know, I know it's going to take longer because of customs and things can get delayed and things like that. So I was just like, okay. So like a month went by and I still didn't have the glasses and I kept tracking them and, you know, I didn't know what was going on. So I thought they must have, you know, gone lost. So I emailed the company and they did respond really quickly within the same day. And they said that if I didn't receive them in a couple days that they would send me a new pair. So a couple weeks went by and I was like, you know, I still don't have my glasses. So I emailed them again. They responded pretty quickly again, which was good. And um, so they ended up shipping me another pair uh, within, a, within a couple days. So I thought, you know, well, here we go again. You know, they're coming from China and I'm going to have to wait probably two or three weeks. So I finally get the glasses. Um, like I said, about two months had gone by since I placed the initial order, so I was getting kind of irritated and impatient. Um, so the glasses came in this tiny little box, and it had a huge dent in it. And I'm thinking, great, they're going to be broken. And I've waited two months for these glasses, and they're going to be broken. Um, so I opened the box, and they actually were not broken, which I'm shocked that they weren't. Um, but they were not in any kind of, like protective, you know, cover or anything like that. They were just in this really thin, like, little plastic bag. I mean, there was no, like, protection at all. And actually, the inside of them, you probably can't see it, but the inside of them on the lens has a scratch in it. But you can't see it from the front of the glasses, which is good. Because I thought, you know, I don't want to have to fool with returning these or exchanging these and then wait another two months. So, I was like, you know, I'll just keep the glasses, um, but I just really didn't have a good experience. Um, not to, you know, bash the brand or anything like that. I mean, I have to say that their customer service was good in responding to my emails, and they did send me another pair of glasses, and, you know, it just took a long time to get them, and, you know, it could have been because they were shipped from overseas and with delays and, you know, with customs and things like that, but I wasn't happy with the packaging. Um, I'm surprised that they weren't broken. I'm really shocked that they weren't broken. Um, I think that they need to use more careful packaging. Um, but, I mean, the glasses are okay. Like, I think that they, 
I think that they're kind of overpriced um, for what you get. Um, they're on, I think, maybe like the cheaper end of sunglasses. Um, I wasn't super happy with them. So um, that was my experience with the sunglass gallery. Like I said, I mean, that was just my personal experience. Maybe other people have had better experiences, but I think a, the big thing is them being shipped from overseas. If they were shipped from within the U.S., I would have had a better experience, and if they would use more careful packaging. But that's just my opinion. Just wanted to share that. So, um, but overall, I was really pleased with Abella eyewear. Um, like I said, the packaging I was just so impressed with. I couldn't believe it. Like I just kept opening box after box, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, these glasses are so protected. Like they really, you know." took care in packaging these glasses and they were in great condition and I was just really pleased with them. So um, that was pretty much all I wanted to share with you in this video, just kind of compare the two brands and tell you what my experiences were like with both brands. I'll link some information down below to their websites if you want to check out more information about the companies or just check out what kind of glasses that they have and I'll also share my discount codes down below too. So that was all. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching.